Minisan, Konnichiwa, Jota Kujodas. Welcome to my last play of Mel Gear Solid. Now, I want to mention something like Mei Ling. She said she was. Her parents came from Guangdong, China. But she was born and raised in America. So, technically speaking, she shouldn't have a Chinese accent. So, yeah, that's a bit. That's a problem that that's a bit of a oversight there but the thing is us fans we want we like that she has a Chinese accent in fact I love it I, I find it better I honestly in my eyes I always in my eyes I always thought Mei Ling was an immigrant like she came from China and that's why she has the accent you know what I mean she's she's an immigrant but like I mentioned in the last video I thought she was, um, you know, I thought this was a UN operation. I didn't think it was like America. I thought it was like the world coming together to stop a terrorist threat, which I think that's really cool. But yeah, what we're going to do here is get the uh, suppressor for the gun. So I'm getting the, the suppressor here because I want to. Uh, it's going to help us. For a second, I, di I didn't know what to do because it's been a while since I played this game. It's been like years since I last played it. So I had no idea if that sleeping dude was going to move or open his eyes and stuff. So yeah, I was uh, kind of cautious. So now we have the Sockham Suppressor so that we can put it to our gun. Because our gun makes loud noises when we go shooty shooty and it alerts all the guards which is pretty stupid well it's not stu it's stupid for us to do so fire our gun off but with the suppressor the silencer I, I call them silencers I don't call them suppressors I call them silencer it suppresses the sound but yeah it will be a lot better now So yeah, what we're going to do here is get some C4, which is a plastic explosive. Contrary to popular belief, you cannot detonate C4 by shooting at it. That's not possible. Like, literally, it's not possible. So, yeah, I'm going to equip the... Um, the suppressor. Going to check my items. Yep, yeah, and we're just going to use it. So, yeah, it uses... C4 uses a... An explosive agent. Called RDX. And it was first produced in 1956. I think that was like a C3 or something. I'm not too sure. Also, there's a similar British plastic explosive. Also based on RDX. Called PE4. So C4 is basically made out of composition C. Composition C. It's like a chemical explosive. So I'm not sure how it works, but it uses chemicals and yeah, it's kind of scientific. Scientific? <laughs> so yeah, 1950, wow, 1956. I think it was also used in the 70s as well. But yeah, it came from America. Yeah, it, it's very stable as an explosive. Like, it can't, it's not air sensitive. So that's why people love using it. 
and you can't just use a gunshot and fire at it. Am I too late? We are going against the uh, Revolver Ocelot. First boss of the game. He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it. C4. Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Draw! Draw! Okay, first off, I... by holding the crouch button and holding the weapon button, we can freely move and end the gun right there. So yeah, it's kind of fiddly with these controls because I'm playing it on keyboard. I'm really not used to playing it on keyboard. So yeah, it's really fiddly. Actually, yeah, just kind of fiddly just holding the crouch and holding the weapon button while moving at the same time. It allows us to move with the weapon, so it's really weird. But yeah, this for me is the worst boss in the game like technically speaking it's just i don't like it you're just running around a square block and you you're just shooting so like a donut you're just running around the donut and you're just shooting so i don't find it fun i find it a bit a bit dull so yeah it's the worst boss in the game for me uh for a technical standpoint there is a way it's like take him out or something like really fast you can like go circle him up and down or something it's hard to explain you shoot him and then you go behind him and then you shoot him and go behind him and you know up. like but I can't do it because of these awkward controls and the thing with the single action army is that when you shoot its muscle velocity is kind of not fast so when it when you shoot the bullet out, it isn't as fast compared to an You're automatic. So the bullet lodges into the body. We can predator ninja. Who are you? I like you. I have no name. That that exoskeleton. Chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, 
I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh, you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. No, no, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code, I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh. Sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card, too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. 
You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Oh, no! Oh, no, it can't be! Those Pentagon bastards! So, they, they actually went and did it! What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for... Listening. Now he's dead, too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Okay, so when he said the Kodak frequency is on the back of the CD, it would, oh god, it's like he's dead now. Like, that dude's dead. Two heart attacks. Two heart attacks. That's not a coincidence. But yeah, as I was saying, like, when he said it was on the back of the CD case, I literally thought it was the CD case in this game. Like, the disc, you know what I mean? The, like, this thing here, ammo disc, optic disc containing Metal Gear exercise data. So I had no idea, I was like completely stumped. And eventually I just turned it off and took a break. And one time I was like looking at uh, the PlayStation box, the PlayStation CD case, and then I seen it. And I went, oh my God, that's, her, that's the frequency. And it was like all mind blowing. Blew me away. You can't use your radar in that area. Like, There's wow, some kind like of fourth world breaking, just crazy. I wonder what it is. Anyway, be careful. 